Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we will be discussing about tropospheric scatter propagation. So what do you mean by tropospheric scatter propagation? Well, let's find out. So tropospheric scatter propagation is a type of communication that is used when line of sight communication is not possible. So that is, let us imagine a person is standing here and let us imagine that this person has to send a particular information to another person that is standing here. So let this be the transmitter and let this be the receiver. Okay. So imagine there's a huge hill in between this guy and this guy. So then if this obstacle is there, the line of sight communication is not possible. Because this obstacle is acting as a barrier in between this communication and hence line of sight communication is not possible here. So in such kind of cases, we use what we refer to as tropospheric scatter propagation. Tropospheric scatter propagation. Give emphasis to all the three words. Tropospheric scatter propagation. So let's see what that it is. So here from the three words. We can understand the fact that this kind of a communication system uses the troposphere and it also uses something related to scattering and it's a kind of electromagnetic radio wave propagation. So that is what we understand from this. So listen carefully, this is very simple. Let us imagine a particular transmitter antenna on the surface of the earth like this. Okay, so let this be a particular transmitter antenna and let this be a particular receiver antenna. So the intention is for the transmitter antenna to send a particular information to the receiver antenna. Okay. So in the case of tropospheric scatter propagation, this kind of a communication system makes use of the troposphere. The troposphere is the layer of the atmosphere that is very close to the ground. That is, it is only around 15 kilometers from the surface of the earth. Okay. So what this transmitter antenna does is that it sends the signal onto this lowermost layer of the atmosphere or it sends this particular signal to the troposphere like this. Okay. So it has reached the troposphere. But what we observe is that when this particular signal reaches the troposphere, it gets scattered. So scattering is a process by which rays get deviated from its actual straight path when it actually strikes something like a dust particle or water vapors or something. When it strikes those particles, it gets deviated from its straight path. That is what you refer to as scattering. So when these electromagnetic radio waves reaches this particular troposphere, scattering happens. That is, this wave starts getting scattered in all directions. So therefore, some waves might get scattered back onto the earth, some waves might get scattered here, some waves might get scattered here, some waves might get scattered here, but here, some waves also get scattered back onto the receiver like this. So this is the basic principle behind tropospheric scatter propagation. So here let us see what happens to these rays. Okay. So some rays get scattered back onto the receiver. So the, these rays are received at the receiver. Therefore these rays are referred to as forward scatter rays forward scatter rays and see you guys can see that some amount of rays still continue along the straight path that is it is not getting scattered it keeps on going along the straight path with which it was intended to propagate by the transmitter so therefore this undergoes no scatter and now some rays scatter back onto the surface of the earth like this it reaches back the surface of the earth these rays are referred to as backscatter and rest all the rays that get scattered in all the various different directions are referred to as lost scatter. That is we are losing it. It is getting lost. So they are referred to as lost scatter. And now here when you observe carefully at some area over here like this, if you consider a small area like this. There will be a huge number of scattered signal within this. That is a huge amount of this transmitted signal would get scattered here as a volume. This is referred to as scatter volume. So guys, this thus is simply what we refer to as tropospheric scatter propagation. As simple as that. So here the reason behind why the scattering happens in the troposphere is unknown. We don't know that. That is, we are not sure about why scattering happens here. But we assume that the scattering happens due to two reasons. First one is because of the amount of dust particles or water vapors or all those things that are present over here. That is the first reason. And the second reason is due to the reflection of the atmospheric layers. These are two reasons that we assume 
causes the scattering to happen over here in this region. So here in this tropospheric scatter propagation, what we observe is that only a small amount of this transmitted signal is received at the receiver. The rest of the signal gets scattered and we lose it. That is, it gets scattered in all the various different directions. That is, we won't receive that at the receiver. Only a very few amount of signal would get received at the receiver. So here in tropospheric scatter propagation, it has got two antennas on both these ends that are aimed at a fixed point in the troposphere. It is aimed at a fixed point. So therefore it keeps on aiming at this point for it to receive the signal from here. So therefore for here, the electromagnetic radio waves are generated by high power transmitters with very high gain directive antennas. So guys, this thus briefly sums up what you refer to as tropospheric scatter propagation. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you mean by tropospheric scatter propagation and we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.